and welcome back to another video here with angel b designs if you are new welcome if you're not welcome back um a couple videos ago i did do a sublimation um amazon haul where i bought a bunch of blanks from amazon and we tested a few of them um i did get these two tumblers on amazon as well and i didn't test them in that video so i figured i would go ahead and do both of these in this video today um, the first one is just a 12 ounce straight skinny tumbler. Um, pretty much like the 20 ounce ones, it's just a 12 ounce one. But we do know how sometimes Amazon is uh, hit or miss when it comes to blanks. So we're going to go ahead and try this one out today. But then another one that I found is a um, thermos type of um, tumbler. So the top screws off i do think that you can sublimate on the top as well i'm not going to today but i think you can you could try it out then this is the the top you know it just um you unscrew it and you put your coffee in here so it's supposed to be i guess like if you're outside like maybe you work outside construction workers um you know whatever work would require you to require you to be outside Okay, so we're going to go ahead and test both of these out today. I will be using my convection oven. Um, I'm going to see if this will fit in the mug press. Well, no. Do I want to do the mug press? No, I think I'm going to just do the convection oven. Um, we're going to use the convection oven. So go ahead and stick around. All right, guys. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you remove the hardware off the thermos tumbler. I do know the top plastic piece will melt, but um, I'm not sure about the lanyard, but I just took it off just to be safe. Then what I do and how I wrap my tumblers is I put the paper down and I put the tumbler on top of it and I line it up and then I put heat tape on the seam. You do want to make sure that you are wrapping this as tight as you possibly can. You have to make sure that you have a good amount of pressure so that when the heat is um, activating the ink that it adheres to your cup the next thing I do and this is my method I know that everybody's method is different sorry if that noise was loud um, but I do go over the seam in the bottom and the top on this one I don't have to go over the top but I do go around the bottom and the seam of this cup with my painters tape um, I do use a good painters tape from Home Depot so I've never had a problem with it being sticky or any residue being left or it burning or melting in the convection oven I've never had any of those problems um, and like I said I do invest in the good professional painters tape from um, either Home Depot or Lowe's I, I would not recommend using the Dollar Tree one and now I'm basically just doing the exact same thing for the other tumbler and for this one I am gonna put the painters tape on the seam the top and the bottom All right, guys so I did um I sped up the last clip but this one I know I'm gonna get some questions on it I will link this down below my convection oven um it is available on Amazon I just have the black and Decker the one with the drawer that pulls down um I don't have a turbo setting on mine so I know a lot of people ask me about turbo I don't have a turbo setting on mine Okay, I have a temperature, I have a toast option, and then I have a timer, and that's it. So I put my oven on 350 degrees because 400 is, is way too high for whatever reason. It's not actually 400 in there. It's like way higher. So I put it on 350, and with the door being closed, it does get up to 400. So just keep that in mind. 
my toast is on zero. I don't want to toast my, I don't put no food in here. So I would not suggest putting any food in the same oven that you use, the convection oven that you use for your tumblers. Okay, once you use it for your tumblers, just keep it for your tumblers. Please do not eat out of this once you've put the tumbler in there. Okay, so the toast is on zero. And then my timer, I just have it on stay on and I plug it and unplug it as I need to turn it on and off. Okay, and I use the timer on my cell phone to um, keep track of the time. Okay, so how I do my tumblers, normally if I have a 20 ounce or bigger, I do have to lay it down. But because this is a 12 ounce, I can go ahead and stand it up. So I'm going to stand that one up and this one is too tall, so I have to lay this one down. Okay, I'm just going to lay it down on its side like that. And then um, I'm going to close this for two minutes. Now, I don't have to turn this one around because it's standing up, but because this one is laying down. What I like to do is after, um, well, I do like three minutes now. So in total, I do these for six minutes. I'm going to do this for three minutes, and then I'm just going to flip it over and do the other three minutes. All right, so... Um, the tumblers are done. They are nice and cooled off now, so I can go ahead and take the tape off. So we can see how they subbed. Everybody has their own way of doing tumblers, wrapping tumblers. Some people you like shrink wrap, some people don't use painter's tape. I've never had an issue with painter's tape at all. I have been doing this since I started sublimating mugs or um, tumblers over a year ago. So it's just my method. It's what I've always done. Don't bash me for it, okay? <laughs> my one video that I have, I have so many people commenting on the fact that I use painter's tape. Like, okay. And I use the good painter's tape from Home Depot, not the one from Dollar Tree. The one from Dollar Tree is not good and it might catch on fire or burn in your um in your uh convection oven i would not suggest using the cheap painter's tape if you're going to do the painter's tape method you definitely need to go to home depot and invest in the good painter's tape the professional painter's tape that's the one that i use the one roll i bought a pack it was a pack of two painter's tape at Home Depot, I bought the pack of two. I'm still using that same painter's tape I bought. So it's really not that big of an investment, honestly. But. OMG. And if you saw my previous video where I was talking about the new Ecotank 8500 that I bought, this print did come from that printer, the new printer. So. And the back print, I don't really like the design. I purchased this design off Etsy, and they kind of faded out this back part on the actual design. I don't know why they did that, but I don't like that. It looks like it faded in the um, convection oven, but it didn't because there's no ink on the paper. Do you see how the design, it's faded out on these sides? When you bring it together, that's where it's faded out in the back. That was how they made the design. I didn't like that. But, y'all see how vibrant that is? Now, I will say I have had tumblers that came out even brighter than this. Even though this is pretty vibrant, I have had tumblers that I purchased elsewhere outside of Amazon that were even brighter than this. We all know Amazon is a hit or miss. Um, it's an okay print, but I have seen brighter. So... Um, I use the exact same method I always have. Y'all know that my tumblers always come out vibrant. And like I said, this isn't bad, but I've seen brighter. You know what I'm saying? I've seen more vibrant, if that makes sense, hopefully. Now let's do the thermos one. And you have to make sure you take the hardware off before you put it in there. I do believe that these will melt. The uh, this definitely will. This will melt. This may very well melt. I'm not for sure, but you can take it off and put it back on. Definitely make sure you take your hardware off. Um, and here's this one. This one looks nice. I like that. 
looks pretty vibrant. Not bad, not bad. I will definitely link both of these down below and then you can go ahead and put your little hardware back on. I got my nails longer at the nail shop this time and I don't like them. I gotta go get them cut back down. I don't like these long nails. How can anybody craft with long fingernails? That's crazy. And then this just screws back on like that. Okay. But yes, all in all, I am <clears throat> satisfied with them. Now they are pretty pricey. Um, like I said, I will link them down below so you can check them out for yourself. Um, and these didn't come with straws. I know some sellers on Etsy, they'll sell you tumblers and they come with like the, um, the aluminum straws. I do like that. These didn't come with the straws and they didn't come with the little rubber part on the bottom either. So I didn't really care for it, but I will link them down below so you guys can check them out yourselves. See what you think, but I did just want to come on here and do a video so you guys can see how these Amazon tumblers sublimated. If you're interested, check out the links in the description box. If not, thank you so much for watching anyway. I definitely appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. Any video ideas, always drop those down below as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Till the next video. Bye.